friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome back to my YouTube channel and I today am working on day number 15 in my December daily from 2021. I'm on a mission to get this album finished and back in the, on the shelf or in the box as it were um, because I saw all of mine together in a box um, ready for 2022 December daily to start so I have treated myself a little bit and I've started making some foundation pages for my 2022 album now um, it does dawn on me that not everybody may know what this project is if you are um, new here or new to the crafting community December daily is a project um, idea that was thought up by Ali Edwards and the purpose of this project is to create an album whether it's something in this size larger um, or just in a notebook to document memories of December. So traditionally we do one story a day and you could do it based on what's happened um, to what's happened in your life that day or you could pick and choose stories that you want to tell for each day of December. Some people go up to the 25th, some people go up to the 31st so the choice is completely yours. Now I number my pages every day so I tend to tell a story of something that's happened that particular day but if there are days where nothing of significance has happened then I will choose another story and document that instead so it could be you'll see this coming up on day 16 actually um, I document about an advent swap that I did with my friends and my mum and um, so yeah I didn't have a particular story as such that day so I... Uh, chose something else to document so this is day 15 this is the day that I set up my hot chocolate station which seems quite late but actually I'd bought a new tray to put them all in uh, to put all my bits and bobs in and I was excited to get it all collated together and so you've just seen me add um, a simple so I printed the photo so it's outside of the page protector so the size that I print at to do this is seven seven inches wide by 8.25 inches tall and that's typically the size if you want to print the same size as a page protector that is the majority of page protectors so um, some page protectors obviously will will differ in size so you may need to adjust that slightly but yes if you're looking to print if you're doing a if you're doing this project or you're doing any project in a six by eight album and you want to print a photo that's going to sit outside of a page protector then seven by eight point two five inches is the size that you want to aim for so that is on the left hand side just that little chipboard piece that says family traditions and um the red felt numbers um, that have been in my stash for a couple of years now so it's great to get some of those used up as well um, for the day number which was 15. So working on the right hand side so early on in the video you could see that I had a 3x8 photo and I also had a 3x8 page protector with this card in and this says holiday checklist on it and I decided to use this card for telling the story about my hot chocolate station and I'm just using these tiny little alphas. Um, the brand escapes me, so I can't tell you where they're from, but they're, they're fairly inexpensive ones. But I'm just using some black ink just to stamp out the word hot, or the words hot chocolate. I was gonna use alphas to write this instead, but I couldn't find an alpha that I had that was small enough um, that I liked. I wanted a puffy alpha. Um, but I didn't have enough that was going to be small enough um, to squeeze in there. And also I was really struggling with O's because there was um, the use of three O's in hot chocolate. And um, every pack that I pulled out, I didn't seem to have enough O's to do it with. So I thought I'd just stamp it out instead. And then um, I have ticked the little box. So there's some boxes on that holiday checklist. And it says shopping, wishes to do, music, events to attend, gifts, party plan planning and things to make. So... I don't think I'll do it on the video, but I have done it since. The um, I've just checked the little things to make box to um, know that that is my sentence reads things to make. And then what I've done is I have stitched my photo that was on the right hand side um, alongside this page protector that holds this card. So I've just used some gold thread from we are memory keepers and i've run that through my sewing machine so that's another idea for you to be able to include other things in your 
in your albums it, although it's a three by eight page protector actually i can make that back up to a full six by eight size just by adding the um the photo or whatever it is you want to add onto the side just by stitching it on so the way that i did it is i just added a little bit of washi tape to the back of i did it off off screen because stitching on screen always makes me a bit nervous and also i don't have a wide enough view to show you that either and um, yes yeah, so i just add a little bit of um, washi tape on the back just to hold the photo in place next to the page protector and then i just run it straight through top to bottom just using a straight stitch through my sewing machine and you'll see that at the end with the final shot so the last thing for me to do then is just to add my journaling i did add that little puffy sticker of a hot chocolate it was perfect so my journaling reads you can't beat a good hot chocolate station full of delicious chocolatey drinks options candy canes and mini marshmallows this year we upped our game in the hot chocolate making by buying monin syrup to make our favorite costa treat at home black forest hot chocolate we even bought cherry sauce to drizzle on top delicious so um, we love the Costa, um, which is a chain of um, uh, hot drinks, that, um, cafe. Uh, I'm not too sure if they're anywhere else but the UK. Um, but this year they've stopped making the Black Forest hot chocolate. So at least we have some at home um, that we can actually treat ourselves to um, be able to still get that um, delicious cherry chocolate flavour of hot chocolate. So I think this is pretty much my day 15 done. Very simple, large photo, chipboard piece felt number lots of texture um stitched the uh, stitched three by eight photo onto the side of the three by eight page protector added my journaling onto this um holiday checklist card and then i'm going to pop that straight in the album so thanks very much for joining me today if you've enjoyed today's video as always thumbs up would be um great if you're new here please subscribe to my channel and if you want to watch any more videos i'll leave some more december daily ones linked on screen for you right now and i'll see you all again next time bye